All right, welcome back to the second hour of KTN News Center, where we continue uh, bringing you up to date with what is making the headlines. And I'd uh, like us to head over to Nyeri, where a land row in Nyeri has led to the death of one man who was allegedly hacked to death by his brother in Gitero village. Now, KTN's Clement Masimbo is following up on that developing story from Nyeri town constituency and now joins us with the details. Clement, uh, kind of bring us up to date um, concerning this land row that has left at least one person dead. Yes, here in Nyeri County, and particularly Nyeri constituency in a village called Gitero, where it is alleged that uh, a man was killed by his brother, a man who is aged about 48 years, was killed by his younger brother over the issue of land row. But we are just joined by a uh, uh, community policing chairman here, Mr. James Wambogo, who will give us an insight of what exactly happened and maybe what, how, how, and tell us how the brothers have been living. So, asante sana banambugu kwa kungana nasi. Jaribu tu kuteleza, ili kuwaje ndio huyu mungina kwa wandugu yake tafadhali. Ndisiki ya likuja usiku, jioni, wakakuja kwa kaza kuzo sana, walikuwa otu walevi. Na sana sana huyu mdogo, anakuwa mulevi, anakutumia atabagi. Sa hiyo, odi walianza kupigana, tukasikia, asubi yake ni nditua, nije nione. Nikaona tiyane mameze imefunjwa, uh, na mjama mjama amelala kwa kiti tiari na nika maameaga nika guza guza nika na maelala that time nika chukua hiyo jukumu kwe kweta polisi kutuje tuone sana sana hawa tu wamezozana nikitu wamezozana wamezoya wakati wali wacho na mama yao hatu cheki wanazema hii nyuba ni agu hii nini na nika na maba idras na siri sana dinafanya wafanji maneno na hui mjama Tiyani ya mepele kwa mboshari, na atuja ona ni mzuri kwa hili ya kuona vijana wa hidrazi wa kipigana na muna hiyo. Mamba ya hidrazi imesindi, ya nafanya watu wani, wa wani. Na wana wambogo, kutaja tu nyeri kaunti imekuwe kishudia ya mambo ya watu kuwana saubi ya shamba, saubi ya mali. Unadhani labda kupanda wako kama chama na community policy, mambo kama ya nafasi uluisha kivipi? Eee, ni kitu wana mbezoa kuso sana, lakini ni siyo sana wali wegu wati wamevika kiwango ya kuwana. Sasa tumeona sasa inaeleka kusidi. Unasikia mbunyu hiyo mbuchu fulani na ikuwa mbunyu msoso hiyo. Mina hituwa mahali ingine nasikia msoso hiyo 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 tu. Mahali ingine msoso hiyo hiyo tu. Hii mabu ya kuachio mari. Ni na wakati mungine wa hato cheki. Na ni kukosa tu kusikizana. Tutakawana kiki hivi na hivi. Na hii. Kukiona kama hii nyumba hii ni ya rumutatu. Ni kama. Ni kama. Kwa mga kuja wakane watoe mulago uwe mungina watoe pale kwa sababu ni fisi siwa wajwajana migi. Ni wawili tu. Huyu na uwe mungini. Na uwe umewana. Na kwa sasa mneza jua labda yula ambaya nasema wana inasemekana kuwa limuwa ndugi yake uko wapi kwa sasa? Sasa tunachalibu kumutavuta. Uh, ni kama alienda kama mahali 150. Tuwakani ni kama fia kweda mahali igine. Lakini tutampata tu. Nasikia tu. Anasurula tu. Elia itu. Mm. Hei. Yeah. Okay. Asante sana wana James Wambogo. So, Brenna, that is James Wambogo, who is the chairman of the community policy here in Gitero village. He's just trying to give us an insight of what exactly occurred before the, the alleged man killed his brother. But that's not the first case in Nyeri County. Nyeri County has been experiencing such like cases for a very long time. And I think there is some, maybe the uh, county, county government or should it be the administration should uh, should be concerned over the issue and they, there is a way they need to talk to the maybe residents of this uh, county to also teach them how to solve such like issues whenever they have disputes.